Hi, I'm Mike Mahan from SMA Solar Academy. In the video today, we're going to cover the commissioning procedure for the Sunny Boy 5.0 6.0 US inverter. The commissioning of this inverter is easier than ever with both integrated wireless and built in Ethernet as choices. The first step in commissioning is turning on the AC and the DC power. All three LEDs on the display will light up. This indicates the beginning of the startup phase. After 90 seconds, the LEDs will go out and the display will scroll through a standard set of messages. Following the messages, the green LED will remain on, providing the array is providing enough power. At this point, the system is running and we're ready to log into the user interface to check voltages and currents and verify and change parameters if necessary. Though not always required, this is considered a best practice. One of the features of the Sunny Boy 5.0 6.0 US is its integrated wireless LAN for system communications. Installers can use a smartphone, tablet, or computer to access the user interface with ease. To log into the inverter's user interface, check your device's list of wireless networks. The inverter's serial number will show up as a network. For the initial commissioning, the password for the network will be SMA12345. After the initial commissioning, however, the password will change to what is printed on the right side of the inverter on the connection unit. Once you've successfully entered the password for the network, you only need to open a browser window and enter the IP address that's listed in the manual. You may get a warning for security purposes. Go ahead and proceed for the connection. At this point, you should see the user interface for the Sunny Boy 5.0 6.0. Select the correct language and user group. For changing any parameters, please choose installer level access. The standard password is 1111 for the installer level access and you'll be asked to change that when you enter the user interface. At the bottom of the first screen is where we can select a configuration option. You can either load a pre-configured file, manually set up all the parameters, or choose the installation assistant, which we'll walk through now. You'll see that there are five easy steps for the installation assistant. For demonstration, we're going to choose the wired Ethernet connection. See Ethernet here. We will save and go to screen number two. Screen two is the time and the date. Unless you have a compelling reason, go ahead and leave the automatic time synchronization on, select the appropriate time zone, and click Save and Next. The default country code for the Sunny Boy 5.0 6.0 US is UL1741 slash 2010 slash 120. This allows the inverter to auto detect between 240 split phase and 120 208Y grids. It is possible to configure for 240 or 208 delta grids. If needed, select UL1741 slash 2010 slash 240 or 208. Once the correct grid code is selected, click Save and Next. On screen four, you have easy access to feed-in management and voltage stability parameters. If you have no need to change those based on the install location, go ahead and click Save and Next. Otherwise, set the appropriate settings. When you click onto screen five, you'll see this confirmation that the WLAN password will change from the SMA12345 to what is printed on the side of the inverter. And the rest of screen five is a summary of all the parameters we've set in the installation assistant. If everything looks good, go ahead and scroll to the bottom and click Next. You can export the summary if you wish to keep it for future reference. When we log back into the wireless network, we'll see the home screen of the user interface. You can see the device is okay. You have the speedometer view of the power generation, quite like the Sunny Portal will do with WebConnect. You also have access to the instantaneous or what we call spot values, parameters for the device if you need to change anything, a listing of events, and system configuration. If at this point you do need to change any parameters, you could click on the device parameters tab open up the window, click edit, and change the parameters. If you're happy with everything that's shown on the home screen, feel free to log out of the user interface, or if you need to change grid-related parameters, here is where you would click to enter your grid guard code. That's it for commissioning the Sunny Boy 5.0 6.0. For more information, please check out our website at sma-america.com. I'm Mike Mahan for SMA Solar Academy. Thanks for joining us.